Hello, my name is Rodney Hill, product manager here at Atlas Copco. I want to take a minute to show you some of the new wireless features on our Power Focus 8 controller. Here we have a Power Focus 8, and the first thing you might notice if you haven't seen one of these controllers before is that it has two antennas that stick out of the top of the display. What we do with these antennas is these provide a great enhancement to the range for both wireless and for Bluetooth communication. Now I want to show you what's inside the controller. Let's open up the door here and we can see that we have two additional power over ethernet ports or PoE ports. And what that allows us to do is to connect ethernet based devices and send both power and communications over one cable. We also have an M12 ethernet port on the back of the front door that's bridged to the, to the service port network. Our PoE ports here are also bridged to the service port network. So when you're connecting this in your factory environment, please make sure to use the port that's labeled factory ethernet instead of one of these alternate ports. Using those ports on the controller gives us the ability to connect a lot of tools to the controller. So I'm gonna jump in here and show you a couple of slides about what we can do with that. So the Power Focus 8 gives us the ability to connect up to 25 tools to one controller. The dual antennas on the controller allow us to have over twice the range that we had with the previous generation Power Focus 6000. We have three different ways that we can connect battery tools to the Power Focus 8. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi infrastructure, and access point mode. Let's talk a little bit about the advantages and disadvantages of those technologies. Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a very simple technology used by a lot of modern devices today. If you have your phone connected to your car or a headset connected to your phone, it's probably using Bluetooth. Very similar, we pair the tools with the controller, a simple network is set up and we can connect the tools to the controller. One of the disadvantages of using Bluetooth is that we're going to be limited to six tools by that technology. We also have Wi-Fi infrastructure. With wireless infrastructure, we use an existing network like the network in your factory or plant. With that, we can connect up to 25 tools to the controller and the, the tools are only limited by where you have wireless coverage. So if you have good wireless coverage throughout your plant, the tools would work anywhere in that location and maybe even in offices or outside if you have wireless coverage in those areas. And then we have something that's entirely new to the Power Focus 8. That's our access point on the controller. We can turn the access point on on the Power Focus 8 and connect tools and devices directly to the controller. And with this technology, we can connect up to 25 tools to one controller. One of the disadvantages of the access point mode is that we are creating our own network and a lot of areas where you have a managed wireless network that might not be preferable to people creating all their own uh, rogue networks or networks that aren't managed can be difficult uh, from a frequency planning perspective. So make sure that's allowed by your IT group before you go with the access point mode. Now let's take a look at two different technologies. So I've mentioned the access point mode on the controller. Another new functionality we have on the Power Focus 8 is something we call wireless client mode where we make the controller a wireless client for another wireless network. So let's look first at access point mode. I mentioned here, when we use the controller as an access point, we connect tools and devices directly up to the controller. That can be things like tools or a PC if you wanna do some programming over that network. And if we decide later on we wanna put that controller on the network, we can plug in an ethernet connection and have that tool connected also to our factory or, or plant floor environment. This is called access point mode. In addition, on the Power Focus 8, we also have something called wireless client mode. In the wireless client mode, we use the radio on the controller to connect to an existing wireless network, like the network in your plant or factory. With that, the controller connects to the wireless network. We don't need a wired ethernet connection to have that communication back to any other upline systems like your MES system, ToolsNet, ToolsTalk, any of those other products um, that need a network connection. Additionally, tools, devices, computers, anything you want to connect to the controller would connect to that access point or any other access point on that network, which could conceivably be anywhere inside of your factory um, to connect to the controller. And that's something we have called wireless client mode. The Power Focus 8 can actually run both of these modes simultaneously, where it can have an access point running and it can be a client for another network at the same time. So Wi-Fi client mode is something that's unique to the Power Focus 8. And I want to show an example here of a real world scenario. So let's say we have a Power Focus 6000 connected to our network today via an ethernet connection. Since it doesn't have wireless client mode, that's really the only way that we can connect it today to upline plant floor systems. Tools Talk, Tools Net, your manufacturing execution system, and any other system that needs to have network access to the controller. If we decide to move that controller to another location, 
we're going to need to make sure that we also have an Ethernet connection there to connect the controller to. And if you don't, this can be a fairly costly endeavor to have another network connection added. It may require adding cable trays, uh, conduit, adding switches, and different unforeseen costs to move this to a new location. Using the Power Focus 8 with wireless client mode, you can actually connect the controller directly to your wireless network and it will work anywhere that you have wireless coverage, conceivably anywhere in a plant floor environment. So if you were to move the controller to a new location, it will simply grab a connection to the nearest access point and it's again connected to your network. These are just some of the new features on the Power Focus 8. I hope you found this interesting. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.